Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. You interrupted me reading, guys. But Out of thank your you. It Resolves journal. Ooh. Oh, look at ooh, that sticker. S- sponsor. Oh, they, no, I'm just kidding. I just stuck a sticker Weird. on on a notebook. That's not a <laughs> that's not a sponsor. Guys, welcome. Thanks for listening, tuning in wherever, whenever you are on the YouTubes, the podcast <laughs> app, SoundCloud, wherever it might be. Once again, you can find us on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. More on that in a second. Uh, I think I covered all the... I think so. I think guys, we it, are guys. everywhere. Uh, definitely go check us out. Follow us. I need a little subscribe checklist because yeah, I forget. We should do a checklist. Okay, so a good I kind idea. of forget where um, <laughs> all we are. Guys, used, this used is... to be on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is episode 38. And Ooh. with the number 38, for some reason, we decided to make this the update episode. 38 special. 38 if, update. If you combine our ages and subtract some, <laughs> you get 38. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Um, so today, for the kitchen table day, we're not doing kitchen table stuff. Sure aren't. We're going to be doing sure some aren't. update stuff, uh, talking about a new yes. schedule, a new structure for all that, um, some stuff with our YouTube, our Twitch, as well as some giveaway information. Uh, so if you're interested in get giveaway... Hyped. Uh, get we stoked. finally get to get to release this. Um, oh, yes. Before we do any of that, we're gonna we're gonna do our standard card of the day, oh. our random card of the day. I'm um, happy about this. And actually, we have a good card. So the way we do this is we have a website up mm-hmm. that's set to refresh on a random card, and the card that's up right now is Torpor Orb, which is pretty which is just a great, great card. Yeah. So let's hope it's something we just get it again. Like Torpor Orb. <laughs> well. <laughs> Or that again. <laughs> yeah. Could happen. I maybe. Three, two, one. Nope. Shatter. <laughs> Actually, Shatter is not bad. It's not I like Shatter. Shatter, so Shatter for one colorless, one red, or a mountain. Uh, it says <laughs> Shatter destroys target artifacts. So no, not bad, however. They made this card a lot better in other sets. So yeah. this was in so many of the first few editions. Yeah. Like there's a list that I'm not even gonna start to read off. But <laughs> um and this was just kind it's of so many reprints. Yeah. Left. I mean it's just a marquee card, right? Like yeah. that that effect needs to be in everything. Um but yeah, they made this way better at one mana instant speed and a bunch of stuff. Like it's in green, it's in white, it's uh, it's in red, but for cheaper. Like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's things like Agent Grudge, which lets you flashback. You get the ability twice. Exactly. Like, there's a for lot the of same variance, mana cost. Too, the same so. mana cost. There's a lot of variants of this card. Yeah. Um, that being said, in the Liquid Metal Coding deck, they ran Shatter main board because you just get to blow their stuff up i mean yeah i mean it makes sense um, <laughs> um honestly but again any copy of that destroy target yeah, artifact yeah. would work any of them will that's do that's all it does um but this represents i think a very key card uh sure just in magic that this was sort of the start of the destroy target artifact stuff and like you have to have that in sideboards right yeah. like it's an important idea of a card i guess i would say or well, a, a certain type of card that certainly needs to yes be there. hate cards and spot removal yeah um back in the early days they had a few of those but they weren't really prevalent yeah and they were way overpriced yeah but then they realized <laughs> that they just make more of this kind of stuff yeah and it makes the game more balanced which yep. yeah and now we have fatal push which just you know is great yeah uh, yeah I've, i i was i also really like murder murder yeah really yeah i love murder like, why i mean it's, it's classic but it kind of is just two black one colorless destroy a thing just murder something it's perfect flavor it's, for black heck yeah right like it's, it's awesome but it, the price is really great. efficient but well honestly though it is like is it every other removal comes a stipulation except for murder right doom blade is non-black dark betrayal is only black um your what's the other one i'm thinking of uh Oh, I guess that's the same price as murder. I was thinking of maybe Glorious End. No, no. That, Heroes Downfall. Yes, mm-hmm. that's Planeswalker or Creature, which is a strict upgrade for murder, but literally a strict upgrade. I mean, yeah. yes. However, <laughs> um, I like it for flavor. Uh, yeah, but I just I love just, murder. It's so it's just simple. Simple. Just murder a thing. Yeah. Shatter an artifact. Yeah. Murder a thing. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Even uh, really? Fatal Push. <laughs> if it didn't hit so many things, it wouldn't get played. Because that's true. Mana two or less, or well, four or less at its best. But, yeah, at its best. Which but, no, I that's mean, pretty good. But still, stipulations. Murder just says point, kill it. Well, and things like dismember, 
minus five minus five not strictly kill right but but you, that gets around other things true so. but you also take four from doing that if well, you just cast maybe it for yeah one, yeah right most I mean, uh, a lot of the time you're gonna lose some life yeah but i mean i don't think you cast dismember for unless you, it's like a late game only card in your hand kind of I, thing well okay yeah yeah, yeah. i but guess that's like true. i guess on general terms you probably wouldn't no because you get to pay one to give something minus five minus five that's yeah, sweet seems pretty awesome yeah that's great dismember for life it definitely is. <laughs> yeah, that can that deletes a lot of things. Um, uh, okay, so but yeah, so represents uh, shatter representing sort of an archetype of cards that yeah. needs to be there in Magic, and this was the original, so it's cool yeah. to see it. Um, it is neat, but yes. as you mentioned, and there's I do, just more efficient ways yeah. to do it. I love the um, original art, though. That is, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, great. All right, so here's the deal, guys. As we mentioned at the top of the episode, we're going to be talking about a lot of updates today. Um, We already did one of these around episode 25, I think. Uh, That's where we introduced video. You can see us, uh, as well as some other things. (laughs) Right. Um, But we've got a lot more sort of waiting in the wings now that we thought, let's just do an update. Let's just talk about it all. Um, Sure. And the first of those is we will be restructuring when our videos are released and how many of them there will be this is probably the biggest one yeah um so with a plethora of things coming up in the future uh kevin and i decided to be proactive and kind of cut down on the numbers of videos a week um which serves a lot of different purposes yeah um but we figured that we would be able to uh be less pressured recording yep uh be able to put out maybe uh, I'm not. I don't think our stuff is too bad, but maybe, maybe some higher quality. Hopefully, higher quality stuff. Yeah. Um, not I saying know. we're good either. We're in that great. <laughs> we're like we're like lukewarm grits. You forgot you had that you ordered on the side that you're happy to see. Yeah. But like you're like, man, I really want some grit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Here's it resolves. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. This I had, is a great analogy. By I, had, I had grits today, so they Did were. You really? They're on my mind and heart. I don't even like grits. That's awkward because grits are it resolves in this case, but Kevin, we live Kevin. In, we live in South Carolina. <laughs> You're telling me you don't like grits? I don't like grits. No. What What's your farm food, man? Your stick to your ribs food. That for anyone who's listening outside of the South means food that will last you a long time. Stick to your ribs, like oatmeal grits. I like oatmeal. All right, that, I'll give you that. I like apple cinnamon oatmeal specifically, or that's good though. The dinosaur egg oatmeal. Heck yeah! Yes. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, the dinosaur eggs. I'm so eggs. glad you know what I'm talking about. I would get those today just if to they eat were the like dinosaur still on the eggs. To be yeah, honest. they were awesome. I'd eat like two or three packs at a time. If anybody knows what we're talking about, please comment below Heck and just yeah. be like, "Dinosaur Egg Club, you got it." Heck yeah! We'll send you something if you do that. We'll no. put it on a shirt. Well, I'm not saying Ooh, not saying we'll we will. I'm not that. saying we won't. But <laughs> um, anyway, it's an idea. Um, Sorry to derail us. Yeah, we're restructuring the days. <laughs> Kevin, why don't you tell the people (laughs) when we're doing stuff? Our structures as of right now is Sunday is our filler fun day. Monday is our deck tech episode day. Thursday is our kitchen table day. And then Friday is our standard, usually limited talk, something Mm -hmm. along those lines. Um, And what we found is with that structure, the episode that tends to be lacking, in our opinion, Mm -hmm. seems to be the Thursday episode. Definitely. Um, On one hand, it's very fun when we get to play some commander and have a discussion about that or something like that. But because we have to record four videos a week, we don't really get the opportunity to just sit down and play as much. It's a lot of time is spent recording, spent exporting, editing, things like that. Like there's a lot to do. Um, And so we're just not able to give the content that we'd like for that Thursday Mm -hmm. episode. So what we decided to do is sort of tie that into our filler fun day. Right. Um, put that in there. If we get to play some commander, if we get to play some poppers, some cubelets, things like that, we will talk about those. Sure. Uh, as well as whatever our filler fun day topic usually is. Um, but we also are switching days up a little bit. Not to confuse you guys, but <laughs> there will be a test. So. Uh, yeah, there will. The Monday episode stays the same. We're still going to be doing our deck text. We Phew. have our it resolves deck along with the community deck list uh, that we'll be talking about. Along with our card of the day and our normal pack opening, that's not going to change. Yeah. Um, Wednesday now will be our standard day instead yes. of Friday. Standard slash limited. Slash limited, yeah. You um, understand. 
there's a lot of stuff going on with hours of devastation right now mm-hmm. as you'll see in tomorrow's episode uh Ooh, and so buddy. we'd like to keep you guys updated on that and ideally what the pushing it to wednesday gives us a little bit more leg up on getting the content out sooner yeah. instead of having to wait till that following friday to talk about a gp or you know a tournament or yeah. something like that it especially it also gives us time to make an episode and prepare you guys and ourselves of course for right. an fnm for that weekend tournament exactly. you're mentioning something like that we've got just a nice even block of days on either side to make just a a crisp episode crisp i like that yeah. word um along with that standard we'll also be doing our card of the day impacts that mm-hmm. will also not change um True. then the last episode we're only going to be doing three a week instead of the normal four our friday episode will become our filler fun day mm-hmm. Uh, we're moving that off of Sunday over to Friday. That'll be our normal filler fun day stuff, uh, whatever we decide to talk about, along with potentially some commander or kitchen table yeah. kind of games that'll be thrown into there. Um, our Kiki Weekly will remain on that filler that. fun day. We can't lose that. Alex would be very sad. <laughs> he would. Um, we also will still be doing our question of the week right. um, uh, on that day, so we'll still be talking about it that day. Yeah. We'll be posting on Monday and then talking about it on Friday. That's usually how we've you know structured it and then packs as well we'll be cracking a pack as always so that's sort of our structure from here on out on episodes we think Mm -hmm. um giving a day in between each episode and then the weekend to sort of recover and do our research and record that'll give us more time to hopefully make better quality content for you guys um and also we just hope it'll be fun you know i think those days are better for releasing videos anyway this seems a more focused kind of schedule um for for kev and i um so yeah, I, I think it's overall a good change. Yeah, I am. I am not sad to see Thursday go. Um, that content we can, of course, cover. Yeah, you know, I think so. I, there were a few days where it was, it was sort of like, hey, what do you want to talk about on Thursday? Yeah, and like we would just sit there and be, oh, I don't know, what do you yeah. want to talk about on? Or Thursday? we would forget. <laughs> those, those yeah. were rough. Like, yeah. what are we recording today? We're doing the Friday episode, the Sunday. Oh, wait a minute. There's Thursday in there. Yeah. We haven't played Commander this week. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, it, I will say Thursday was a fun episode yeah, when we definitely. first started because we got more time to play. Um, yeah. Hopefully, this will give us more of that time back, though, and, and give yeah. you some more of that content. Um, hopefully. And not just hash, hashtagging, an, I don't know what the word is, throwing together an episode is um, what I was trying to say. I don't know why I said hashtagging. I don't know either. Were you thinking of lashing together, like you hash slinging like, slasher? The rash, that's what I was the rash slinging episode, the th- thrash slinging, the, the rash slinging, slash. Yes, sure. the hash slinging slasher. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right. who was flickering the lights? <laughs> Copyrighted. <laughs> Nick Nickelodeon owns that. Not it resolves. We are not in any way affiliated with. <laughs> yeah, don't no. flag our episode, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now. Off of the scheduling, right. um, we also want to talk about Twitch and moving oh, some yeah. of our Twitch content over to YouTube. We're excited about this. This is yeah. cool. Um, first of all, let's talk about Parks and Alex because we haven't given them enough. Uh, the dynamic enough of a plug. duo. Yeah, guys. The, the trouble twins. The trouble twins. <laughs> the the sweet baby boys. All of the above. I could go on. <laughs> Please don't. Um, <laughs> My little snow peas. <laughs> They're both taller than I am. Um, anyway, what do you want to say about them, Kevin? Um, anyway, so if you have not been keeping up with our Twitch uh, or our YouTube, they have been doing a lot of streaming over there. Oh, yeah. um, there is no like set schedule for them. Usually one of them will trade off and say, I'm going to stream tonight. The other one will stream the next night. Mm-hmm. Um, but they have been doing some regular streaming, mm-hmm. and uh, they've been doing a great job at it. Oh, right? yeah. like, They're fun to watch. Alex is really, really great with the commander stuff. He likes to focus on that, and we actually have a segment that he started uh that we'll be talking about in a minute and then parks likes to do sort of the limited and standard stuff Mm -hmm. cover some of that aspect and so if you're into limited standard or commander you'll get all of that um we also because of the vintage cube draft have been uh streaming a little bit of that yeah so that's all up there those are super fun they're really cool oh exciting yeah um so why don't you talk about Mm -hmm. alex's new idea so uh alex our commander expert uh for the resolves office um 
Oh, one day. <laughs> uh, he decided to throw together one of his favorite commander decks. I think, is this the Gaunty deck that he I made? I think so, but I might I be wrong. I'm not sure. He, I don't know. If it didn't have green in it, it would surprise me. But Gaunty can't be green. He's mono black. Anywho. I think it was mono green, if I remember correctly. That would not surprise me either. Yeah. Green is his favorite color. It is. Because uh, he likes to smash He's things. He's very forward about that. He is, yeah. He'll, <laughs> he will tell anybody. He'll tell someone who doesn't play magic. Uh and, hey, by the way, green's my favorite color. Just, right, cool. Whoa! Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I do that too. I saw a guy at work. This is off topic, but it was the <laughs> it was the coolest thing. He had the mana symbol tattoos like on his elbow. What? Yeah, dude. It was awesome. I was like, you uh, you play a little magic? You play magic? He's like, do I? <laughs> and we talked a little bit about uh, about magic. No, Did I tell about the podcast. No, I didn't plug it. Resolves. What? I just look. I was at work. It felt weird. All right, you're fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alex, <come. laughs> nah, he's not here. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to take away from Alex there, but it was sweet. Yeah, I was like, that's cool. I could get that tattoo. That's kind of cool. Kind of want to. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Alex uh, has brewed up a spicy commander deck, and he is. He's taken it upon himself to make a little challenge for himself. Yeah. So he is streaming uh, a segment we're going to call, he's going to call, this is his idea, Road to 100 Wins. Uh, and the rules for it, simply, he has to get to 100 wins with his commander deck before he gets to 50 losses or something happens. He has to start over. Do we not get to pie him or something? Oh, we should. We need to make- Alex doesn't know that we're talking about this yet, so. Let's make him into a dessert. All right. Pool of shame. We'll make him into like a peach cobbler. We just pour like peach jelly on him. A little flower action. I really like this idea. We could make this happen. All right. And we'll if, get like a blow up pool outside and just start a little throwing pool. like canned peaches at him. Well, no, not in the cans. We just like. We no, imp- not in the cans. Okay. I'm saying Thank God. throw the peach. I'm not going to throw a can. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you, at man. At a friend of mine. You'd throw it at me, though. Well, yeah, but well, that's because you, did you didn't plug it resolves while you were at work. That's fine. I'll chase him down. Okay. He's got a distinguishing <laughs> tattoo. So, but No, it's going to be really sweet. Um, Peach Cobbler aside, if that happens. Yeah. Uh, he, he's an experienced commander player. He's fun to watch. So yeah. uh, I'm excited, especially for that. I am too, actually. I did segment. watch a little bit of his first episode, which is up mm-hmm. on YouTube. We are exporting all of these to YouTube <laughs> cool uh, in their own playlist. They'll, they'll all be av- available there. Um, I didn't get to see much. I just sort of got to see the intro and everything, but That's it looked man. sweet. Like it was yeah. really cool. Um, so I encourage everybody uh, to follow along with the road of a hundred wins and see, see how if he does. makes it. Yeah, that should be interesting. See how our boys do. Um, Parks is also doing a lot of standard and limited stuff, as we already talked about. We're hoping to get a like sort of segment style thing <laughs> together just for Parks as Park's well. Parks spicy brews. Man, he gets some of the jankiest standard decks. I, that's kind of always been his thing. I love it. He finds one card that no one else would play with <laughs> and just makes a deck around it. In the Ravnica block, when I met him yeah. at FNM, he was playing a Dust Mantle Seer deck. That was weird as crap. <laughs> and he did pretty good. <laughs> he can make anything work. Yeah, He's, he really can. He's a, a great wizard. standard player. Um, very, very quick and very, very uh, knowledgeable, I would say, about standard. Definitely. Um, so really definitely keep... Really the game keep, of magic. Yeah, general, really the game but... of magic, yeah, for sure. So keep up with the YouTube. Keep up with the Twitch. Uh, they'll be streaming over there, and then we'll be putting all that content again over to our YouTube. So okay. check it out there. Um, one last thing. We finally did it. We've been talking about this for about a week now. Our 500 follower giveaway on Instagram has finally happened. We're actually above 500 right now, so we're launching like a day late, technically. Sparkler? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm pumped. <laughs> no, guys, we are really excited. Away. Yeah, we've been talking about this giveaway for a while on Instagram as well as on the yeah. the episodes here. So we're super stoked. We it's, finally hit it. Thanks to all of you it's guys. It's about time. Yeah, you guys have been it's, coming yeah. through like we, mad. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, wherever you're you're tuning in, thank you uh, for sharing <laughs> as well. If you have been, mm-hmm. that's been sweet. Um, so yeah, do you want to tell them uh, what they're getting? 
Well, as we've already mentioned, we have this fantastic It Resolves cup, uh, again, sponsored by Andrew, Ooh. who has made these for us. I really love these. I yes. So I've been, for the past few episodes, using mine. Yeah. And to be honest, I kind of use it everywhere. It's I really nice. Like, it is. Mine's and in my car right now, actually. Well, I got to tell you a story. Talk to me. We were recording one night, okay. fairly late, 11, 30, 12, something like that. As we do. As we do. And... I had put some ice and some water in this before we started recording. Okay. And I didn't finish it and I didn't clean it out and I set it on the counter. Mm. When I got up the next morning, yeah. It was it was still icy. There were still yeah. ice cubes in it. Like it works super well. It is a, <laughs> like, it is a very uh how you say consistent temperature on the inside. <laughs> no, copacetic. No. Uh what am I trying to say? We talk good. The quality of these cups. <laughs> hey yo. Top notch. Ooh wee. Oh All right. geez, so, guys. These cups are bang rang. Along with the cup. <laughs> I could sell anything. We have this fantastic It Resolves sticker. Ooh, so, which as you see is on, on his notebook. his notebook for the po- for the podcast. And my vehicle. And we also have a few packs for you guys. So we got two Amonkhet packs. Uh one Aether Revolt. Hopefully there's a ballista in there for you. Yes, and one Kaladesh. And there's a Mass Priest in that one. Yes. Um, <laughs> what we're thinking also is since Hour of Devastation is about to drop, I'm thinking yeah. we ought to pick up one or two of those and throw those in here as well. Yeah, I'm not um, going to give you one from like my pre-release pack or anything. but No, but, but we might pick up an extra one yeah. just to throw in here you've as an extra a, thing. You've been uh, some swell fun. boys and girls. So yeah, so we want to give you a... the best that we can. Yeah, um, I think so. so. Got a lot here, four packs at least, a cup and a sticker, uh, all just for following us. And so the way this is going to work is on Instagram. Uh, If you're following us already, that's great. If you're not, all you have to do is follow us. Mm -hmm. We're going to post about this uh, probably today, I'm assuming. Um, Today or ish, today ish. Yeah, today ish. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And uh, once that is posted for the first time, all you have to do is share that post or save it, post it on your Instagram, uh, tagging us in it. That's it. You have to be following us. You have Simple to post it and tag us in it. That's it. All on um, Instagram. Yeah, all the on gram. Instagram. And yeah, you you are entered automatically. Uh, so Piece of cake. if you do that, you're entered to win. We will probably give it about a week or two. I'm not exactly sure how long we'll do it. Uh, we have to decide on that after we record, actually, this episode. <laughs> True. Um, so we'll see how long it ends up going. It will be in the post, though, so you will know. Yeah. Yeah. It will not be a mystery to you. No, not at all. My sweets. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. You know. Are there any other updates? Oh, I forgot to do something. What's that? Nice shirt. Oh. You know how we were talking it- like two episodes ago about how we were going to wear these every episode? I wore mine. I wash mine because I'm not a filthy slob. I wash mine too. I don't believe you. And then I smoked a cigar in it. <laughs> All right, but that's, that's different. No, I I unwittingly threw it in my laundry. Yeah. Um, switched it over and was like, ah, what's well, went? Unfortunate. So then I I threw it in the dryer, had dinner with my lady, and came here. <laughs> so it is tumbling right now. All right. Well, in a circle. It better be here next time. It won't. It won't be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Let's break the fourth wall. I promise. As we've always done, we this, mass record these. And this <laughs> is one of the problems with recording a Thursday and a Friday episode yeah. back to back. Yeah, we, we kind of have to record both at the same time, which means we don't change clothes. It's because of our schedules. And we're gross. Well, it's the same day. Nope. We could them change it's clothes. Not. Maybe next time we'll do it naked. Who oh, no, knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> Kevin. I think that's it for updates, guys. Good. Uh, <laughs> finally. Um, <laughs> no, so again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be the new schedule starting next week. Uh, and so be prepared for that. Yep. Participate yep, yep, yep. in the question of the day and the deck of the, or question of the week. And deck of the week, uh, we do randomly sort of pick the decks and the question of the week, just whoever gets the most votes we talk about. So. Fair enough. That Simple being said. Enough. Oh, and actually the question of the week right now. I should mention that. Oh, probably. Um, is what is the best one drop creature? Um, and that is posted everywhere. I think we've already got something like forty responses. Yeah, and there's some good ones. Um, My favorite's in there, so I'm happy. Is it really? Mm-hmm. I want to know what your favorite is. Don't no, no. tell me on the episode. 
Not right now. I shouldn't say right now. Tell me right now. Right now? It's Monastery Swift Spear. It's my really? That's your favorite? Yes. Okay. You could get out so much damage turn one. Think about this hand real quick. Monastery Swift Spear. Mm hmm. Double mutagenic growth. Yeah. Simian Spirit Guide and a Fireball. Dang it. Lightning Bolt, not a Fireball. That's super good. Yeah. That's an insane amount of damage. It is an insane that amount of damage. That hand will never happen. No. Oh, you also need one mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it will never happen. It could happen, but it probably won't. No, it won't. But come on. No, I mean, that's cool. Or, I like Swift Spear a lot. Or two Swift Spears. Oh. Two Swift go. Spears, two Mutagenic Growths, the Lightning Bolt, and a Mountain. Mm. And then you have one of the... Oh, the Semen Spirit Guide. That's right. Yeah. Dude. That's pretty good. I guess you don't need a Bolt at that point. Hmm. Tricky. <laughs> Tricky. Anyway. Um, no. Sorry. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of votes for Swift Spear. I know it's, he's, um, he's Death Rite Shaman's so on there. Also there's really some good. very like off-the-wall ones, which I'm stoked about. Um, Are you saying the root wall is off the wall? <laughs> better not no i actually really like root wall um <coughs> but oh, that's so funny <laughs> um here's the deal oh. guys we are ending with our crack a pack sponsored by grand slam comics and collectibles in rock hill south carolina whoop, whoop. we encourage you to check them out they've been helping us out so much with uh yes, providing really some are. cards for us some packs for this um so if you are in the area or if you're online uh their links are in the description or just come check them out uh clamp is over there who owns it he does a fantastic job oh yes uh a very very nice guy job. so you may even run to run into our buddy andrew yeah he might no? he helps out there quite a lot um, he's an and excellent we're over gamer. there well i'm over there a lot he's a how would you say it kevin an awesome person who likes people <laughs> he is an awesome person who likes people way to bring that back hey man <laughs> can't forget it <laughs> All right, Can't so forget it. as we always do, we have gold cards. I don't have a gold card because I got mine. Um, I did not get mine, so Leslie. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but we usually like to go through these packs, talk about in a limited environment, uh, what would be our first pick, what would we hope to wheel, what are the good cards, the bad cards, so on. So what'd you get? True. So my rare is never to return. Ooh. I said that's funny because never is for one colorless and two black. <laughs> Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Weird. What makes this not good is it is sorcery yeah, speed. Yeah, sorcery speed, which is pretty bad. I wish this was instant speed. Like they've printed it before. <coughs> not this specific card, but they've printed yeah. the same cost at instant speed before. It does the same thing. Yeah. Why not just do it now? And it's not like the aftermath cards, like the dual cards or both sorcery sorcery blah, blah, blah. well i think what they might be trying to prevent is because correct me if i'm wrong it's mm. seven to cast both of them yes in total what they might be trying to prevent is they don't want you to never on your opponent's turn and, and then on return. your turn be able to go ahead and return oh, um because on you kind of can't do both until turn seven i mean return really isn't that good no that's what i'm saying i kind of like, don't like it. exile target card from a graveyard create a 2-2 two -two black zombie i mean in zombies it's pretty good i guess <laughs> but is it no, no really. it's not not for four you get so many different effects that get well you but more that zombies. being said with the lords and stuff like that it's not going to be a 2-2 two -two, most likely no it's not irrelevant but i'm saying you get liliana's mastery you get yeah the yeah. um the two black x sorcery i'm not remembering what it is uh it's like deal x damage you make it yeah, two, two guys. something like that something but you get so many better options that yeah. this isn't like that big of a deal that's fair i don't know they could have even have made never uh four mana in an instant speed and i think it would have been fine uh yeah i guess so fine wizards it's okay Dude, anyway <laughs> uh so, so that's not the pick uh it's so other cards sorry to uh to mention i've got gravedigger which is awesome uh floodwaters i love um and emberhorn minotaur are probably the only decent ones well wandering death might be all right um instead of the minotaur but i think i'm gonna go with the gravedigger i love gravedigger and limited you really love gravedigger He's i'm so kind of surprised you don't take never return i think i'd take never return uh, spot it's just removal. removal. Maybe like, I'm just salty because I don't removal. like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, three mana nice. removal spell for a creature or planeswalker. Uh, you talked you talk me into it, but I love Gravedigger. Here. I know you do. Here It'll wheel. <laughs> no. It shouldn't. If it does, I'd be just playing with everybody. Like, Gravedigger's so good. I mean, yeah. Um, 
It's so good. Yeah. Ask is. LSV how good it is. He'll tell you. <laughs> Let me just call LSV up real quick. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'll die my rare is Regal Caracal. 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 That thing. It's 3 3 cat. Other cat creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and lifelink. And when mm-hmm. it enters the battlefield, create two 1 1 white creature tokens with lifelink. He must be busy. He's busy. Yeah. Dang. Um, which, <clears throat> excuse me, and limited is great. Right, like yeah, this oh, is just it's a, a yeah, huge amount of power <clears throat> for five mana. It's awesome. Definitely the pick here. That being said, I also do have a deem worthy, which I think in limited is good. Uh, it is not first pick. No, I don't think so. But dealing <laughs> seven awesome. damage is not irrelevant. Uh, lay claim is also pretty cool. Um, it's a little expensive at seven mana to control target permanent, but that's yeah. a powerful ability. No, yeah, I and like, you also get to cycle. I like lay claim a lot. Yeah. Um, I also got an Emberhorn Minotaur, uh, oh. which is a good aggressive card. Um, other than that, I've got the blue and the white cartouche, uh, yeah. a six sense, which is interesting. Um, a foil brute strength, but yeah, I oh, think he... I think the cat is the pick. Yeah, probably. He's a limited bomb. Yeah, um, he's so good. Yeah, his body's yeah. not really bomb esque, but he comes with a board state, which is yeah, really cool. Exactly. It's not just him you're getting. I like right. the go wide strategy that he implores. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and that's good in white, especially in these sets. Yeah. Um, guys, are you excited about pre release? We'll talk yeah, more about are. it tomorrow, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready. I am too. Uh, we do have a lot of cool information and hopefully, hopefully some helpful tips stuff. to talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. Uh, on tomorrow's episode. So mm-hmm. stay tuned for that. Uh, but until then, I think we're going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves.